Ramsey Hunt syndrome is a rare but severe neurological disorder that is characterized by the paralysis of one side of the face. So the patient presents with inability to move one side of the face. This is simply because the nerve which is supposed to be making all those movements controlling the muscles of one side of the face has been affected. So for us to understand it better, we need to first of all take a quick look at the anatomy of the facial nerve. So the facial nerve is a pathway from your brain to certain muscles of your face. This is how the brain manages to control the facial expressions. So after exiting the skull through an opening called the stylomastoid foramen, the main trunk of the facial nerve divides into five branches to supply innervation to the muscles of the face. The first branch, which is the upper one, controls the frontalis muscle, which allows you to wrinkle your face. The zygomatic branch allows you to close your eye. The buccal branch allows you to smile by controlling the upper lip. And this marginal mandibular branch controls the lower lip. And lastly, the cervical, which is the lowest branch, will supply innervation to the platysma muscle in the neck. So when this nerve has been affected or damaged by the herpes zoster virus, all the muscles of facial expression on that side are weak or they are stiff. So the patient presents with symptoms uh, like not being able to wrinkle their forehead, uh, unable to close their eye, unable to frown or smile, and also because the facial nerve travels together with the vestibular cochlear nerve in the ear canal, uh, the nerve responsible for balance and hearing, the patient also presents with tinnitus, which is uh, a, a symptom where the patient says that they experience some noises inside the ear, and also they present with vertigo. And these symptoms usually present together with a vesicular rash on the external ear, which might be painful. So the cause of this syndrome is a herpes virus called varicella zoster virus. So that's the same virus that's responsible for chickenpox in children and shingles in adults. So what happens is when the patient was still a child, they might have developed chickenpox. And then this virus uh, remained dormant or inactive for decades and then when they are adults for some unknown reason the virus becomes reactivated so when it's reactivated in an adult it causes shingles or really it can further develop to affect the facial nerve and cause Ryan Hunt syndrome the treatment to this is antivirals like acyclovir or famcyclovir and some systemic oral corticosteroids like prednisolone to decrease the amount of inflammation along the facial nerve. Uh, you have to take note of the fact that even after this condition resolves, some patients might experience uh, nerve pain to the facial nerve, which might be extreme. So at this point, if you're a doctor, this is the point where I advise you to refer the patient to an otorhinolaryngologist for further management. Thank you for watching and if you are new to this channel and you find this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and click the notifications bell so that you can be notified when I upload the next video. Goodbye.